Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay. The next is alternate interior angles. So if there are two parallel lines, this is transversal. These two are alternate interior angles or these two are also alternate interior angles. For this, we'll not use axiom, we'll use theorem. We'll try to prove this using other axioms. And that's why it is theorem. We'll not use any, any geometric construction to prove it. We can just prove using other axioms. So first let me write the theorem. The theorem says that if a transversal intersect two parallel lines then each pair of alternate interior angles is equal. That is the theorem. And this actually you can prove it. See how you can prove it? See, I can show you. Let assume that this is angle 1. This is angle 2. So I have to prove angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and given L is parallel to me. Okay. Now if you see angle 1 will be equal to angle 3. Why? They are corresponding angle. Right? For this we are using corresponding angle axiom. Now angle 2 will be equal to angle 3. Why a vertical opposite angle? So if you, mer if you merge these two equation, angle 1 equal to angle 3, angle 2 also equal to angle 3, I can see that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. We can easily prove it. Nothing big deal about it. Okay? And since we have proved it, it is a theorem. So let's write the converse of this. First we'll write the converse and then, then we'll try to prove whether that statement is true or not. So converse will write the plain English. So it says, the theorem says if transversal intersect the two parallel lines, that means if the lines are parallel, then alternate angles are equal. So converse will be if the alternate angles are equal, the lines are parallel. So let me write in the plain English. That is if transversal intersect intersect two lines such that such that a pair of alternate interior angle is equal so if the angles are equal, then two lines are parallel. That is the converse. And we have to prove it. Okay? So we have to prove it. Whether it is true or false, we don't know. So in this case, let me use this equation here. So what is given? Given is angle 1 equal to angle 2 to prove L is parallel to M. So you see it was earlier it was different it was given angle uh, L uh, sorry L is parallel to M to prove ang 1 is equal to 2 but in this case we have been given angle 1 is equal to angle 2 we have to prove that L is parallel to M. So here what we can do angle 1 is equal to angle 3 2 given and I know that angle 2 is equal to angle 3 vertical opposite angle and angle 1 is equal to angle 2 given. So combining these two, I can say that angle 1 is equal to angle 3. So if angle 1 is equal to angle 3, they are corresponding angles. That means using corresponding angle axiom, I can say that L is parallel to M. Right? So L is parallel to M. 
using corresponding angle axial. Thus, I have proved that the statement is true. This is wrong. Right? This statement is true. The converse is also true. Right? Since the converse is also true, this converse is also actually a theorem. So it is a converse theorem. Right? That is, if the transversal intersects two lines such that the pair of alternate interior angle is equal, then the two lines are equal. This is a theorem now. Why? Because it is proved to be true. So we have two theorems for alternate interior angle. First is, if the two lines are parallel, then the interior angles are equal. Second is, if the interior alternate angles are equal, then two lines are parallel. Okay. Now let's talk about the interior angle on the same side. So we have seen that their sum is 180 degree. So this plus this angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degrees. This is something we just told. We didn't prove anything. So for this also we'll use a theorem. We'll not use axiom. We'll try to prove this. Okay. So the theorem is if a transversal intersect to parallel lines then each pair of interior angles on same side of transversal is supplemented that means sum of the angle is 180 degree. that is in this case angle 1 plus angle 2 is 180 degree similarly if you give this as angle 3 and this is angle 4 so I can say that angle 3 plus angle 4 is also 180 degree okay so this is a theorem since this is a theorem I have to prove it to prove angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree given L is parallel to M, this is line L, this is line M. Okay, so I can say that if you see that angle 2 plus angle 4 is what? 180 degree, we know that they are linear angles. Also we know that angle 4 is equal to angle 1. Why? Alternate angle. We just proved. Now using these two equations I can say that angle 2 plus instead of angle 4 I can say that angle 1 is equal to 180 degree and that is true. Similarly I can prove that angle 3 plus 4 is equal to 180 degree. Pretty easy. Okay. So that is my theorem. So I can write the converse statement for this. First let me write the converse statement and then we will check if it is true or not. So converse will be what? If the interior angle sum is 180 degree that means the lines are parallel okay so let me write that in plain english if a transversal intersects two lines such that a pair of interior angles on the same side of transversal is supplemented then lines are parallel this is the symbol for parallel that is the converse now let's check if it is a true statement or false so actually you can prove this. This is a true statement. See, it says that the sum of the interior angle is 180 degree, you have to line is false. You have to prove that the lines are parallel. So it is given that 
angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree to prove that the line is parallel right so angle 1 plus 2 is 180 degree right so we have to prove that the line is parallel is not difficult so angle 1 plus 2 is uh, 180 degree given angle 2 plus 4 is also 180 degree we know that okay so with this I know that angle 1 is equal to angle 4 right if you compare these two equations you can see that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle 2 plus angle 4 because both are 180 this cancels angle 1 is equal to angle 4 since angle 1 is equal to angle 4 they are vertically opposite angle and vertically opposite angle are equal that means the lines are parallel pretty easy since it is true this is also a theorem right so there are two, two theorems for the interior uh, angles on the same side one theorem that if the there are two angles interior opposite angle the interior angle on the same side their sum is 180 degree and the second one is if the lines are parallel sorry the first one is if the transversal intersects two parallel lines then the pair of interior angle on the same side their sum is 180 degree the second converse is that the transversal intersect two lines such a way that the angle sum is 180 degree for interior opposite interior angle on the same side then the lines are parallel thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website Thanks a lot for watching.